Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, well, let me not try to look get off, but at the same time, of course, everybody see um the whole thing that's going out right now with uh EDP four four five and all this stuff and about how you know y'all get where I'm getting go with this, but I'm gonna just put it out there. But I'm gonna start from the beginning. I think I met EDP because I. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and stick to it. I originally ended up knowing EDP, meeting him, coming across him for the first time was, in, I believe, in 2010. 2010, I think it was football season of 2010. And the truth be told, he actually made me create a, um, a YouTube channel. You know, he inspired me to want to do a YouTube channel. And I ended up, which was 215 Pretty D Boy. You know, I was doing content, you know, we kind of fed, I fed off of his videos. He would, you know, sometimes shout me out, good dude. And even in the process of, you know, throughout the seasons and time has come along, we would chat off of the phone, you know. You know, he, it was always cool, you know what I mean? Good energy, man, fuck with the man vibes. Always had a good, you know, good rapport. But for some, but then as time go along, you know, for some reason or another, you know, I'm not going to say why, because I, I don't know. But I mean, EDP got out of touch. We still were keep in contact from here or there, but not nothing crazy. It would just be, you know, yo, what's up, man? You doing, man? You straight. And now, fast forward. 20 fucking 21, you know. The EDP I knew back then, and then the EDP that I come knew, yeah, you know I mean, as time went along, you know, he did videos that, you know, sometimes, you know, were questionable. Of course, everybody loved his energy, yeah, you know I mean, everybody knows the EDP for being, you know, live wire, said whatever the fuck he want, and didn't care, you know. Sometimes that got him in trouble, and sometimes it made people fall more in love with him, you know what I mean, like that, pause. But a lot of people, you know, fuck with him because of the energy he brought, you know, wherever it was about Eagles content or other content. But here it is in 2021, you see online that, you know, this dude is meeting up with a 13-year-old, a 13-year-old. Now, I'm not going to fucking um, pretend like that shit doesn't bother me because the truth be told, my daughter is fucking thirteen and she be fourteen. She's soon to be not my fake no, not sorry. My daughter's not thirteen, she's fourteen. So I pushed I put I put this on everything I love. If any older gentleman or anybody was to even come at this come that way towards my daughter, I'll be the first to tell you, you know, and I don't give a damn, I'm going to jail point blank period because at the end of the day I don't respect motherfucking pedophiles I don't respect you know molesters I don't respect none of that stuff you know because you know not to go too deep but you know very close people that were close to me were molested and taken advantage of at a very young age so at that point you know I'm not with that period and I'm not sure what brought EDP to go to that Matter of fact, I'm not even going to stop saying EDP. I'm going to call him Brian. And then, Brian, if you see this, bro, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Like, this is devastating, fam. This is fucking devastating. And, and the fact that I tried to reach out to you to see, like, you know, what the fuck was going on. You ain't responding back to me. And that kind of sent a wave through my head. But I will say this if you listen to me. And I'm going to get back to the top. And I'm going to say this to you if you listen to me, fam. Wherever you need to go get some help or not, or you need to go crawl in, your little, crawl in a hole, or whatever it is you need to do. But, bro, I'm going to tell you straight up, you need to get some help. You need to get some help, fam. Whatever the case may be, because I, I bullshit you not. You got to understand, dude, it's fucking real men out here, man, that don't play that shit. And, it's, and, and if you came across the wrong motherfucker, I can only imagine if that was a real situation that you walked yourself into and it was a freaking father that was sitting right there and he saw that shit, I guarantee you, you would have got your head knocked the fuck off. 
somebody would have knocked your fucking head off because that's not tolerated in most people's households in general, in society, period. That's not, it's not cool. I know some people condone this shit, some of these Democrats, but that's a whole nother fucking topic. But at the end of the day, point blank, period, that's not to be tolerated. At this point, bruh, or if anybody know, which I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people right now, you know, cutting ties, Nitro Freak, the boy Philip, everybody that, anybody that in America or anybody that knew EDP has completely cut themselves ties from this dude. Now that you see more messages coming out, you got video footage coming out, this shit is really looking bad for boy. This shit is looking bad for you, Brian. It's looking bad for you, and you can't get out of this. This ain't no troll shit. This ain't no bullshit. This is real life. So I'm going to cut this fucking video short because I, I want to say more, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to go. I, I don't. I, I just don't. I'm disappointed. Shocked still, to be honest with you. Still in shock. <laughs> to, to, to not, it's not really a funny situation because it's just... You got to smile and keep from crying damn near because I would have never known in a million years of me knowing Bull that he would go this far or stoop this low or go or even this was in his head. That's all my um, that's my take on it. You know, I just had to get that off my chest. So.